the moment has arrived at long last. We have the match, which will be me, Grandmaster Hikaru, playing as Magnus Carlsen, the five-time World Chess Champion in Las Vegas in November of 2023. We will be providing a link for buying tickets either at the end of this video or in the description and top pinned comment. We will be playing two games per day, starting with 45 minutes. And if we make it past move 30, there will be an additional 15 second increment added on every single move. If you don't make it past move 30 and run out of time, well, you just get flagged, tough luck, that's life. Now the second wrinkle and one of the things that makes this match really exciting is not only are we playing regular chess, but we are also playing Fisher Random as well. So what that means is on the first day of November 28th, we'll play two games of Fisher Random. We'll play the same starting position, once with white, once with black, Day two, November 29th, two games of regular chess, and we'll be alternating with the event culminating on December 3rd with two standard rapid games. People might be wondering, what is Fisher Random, also known as Chess 960? What it means is that there are 960 different ways to arrange the eight pieces on the back rank. Now we play the standard position with Rook, Knight, Bishop, Queen, King, Bishop, Knight, Rook in normal games of chess. However, in 960, you take those pieces, shuffle them, arrange them in a random order, and you try to come up with the best strategy for move one. Simply put, there is no computer preparation. You do not have an idea of what the first five, 10 moves of the game will be. Whereas in regular chess, we've studied this position for most of our lives. And frankly, chess has been studying this position for the last 600 plus years. So it's time for a change. Now, unlike a lot of the classical events, there will be a one game tiebreak. There will be no prolonged rapid games, blitz games, anything of that nature. It will be a best of one. Now in this match between Magnus and myself, there will be a whopping one million dollars up for grabs. If there is no tiebreak required, that means the winner will get $400,000. The loser will get 200,000 and there will be $400,000 additionally split proportionally by the match score. I cannot think of a single game in chess which has ever had such a big prize attached to it. This event will be held at the UFC Apex Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. It is an iconic and cutting edge arena. There will be a live viewer experience for all the people who show up with commentary. People can watch, buy tickets. So if you want to come and watch this match, you want to see Magnus and myself up close in person, make sure that you're at the UFC Apex between November 28th and December 3rd. Some people might be wondering, how did this match come about? Now, Magnus Carlsen has been very vocal and critical about the FIDE World Chess Championship cycle. In fact, he dropped out of it and gave up his title voluntarily. Now for Magnus, he has said on multiple occasions, he feels like the games are too, too slow, there are too many draws, and it's not necessarily a great evaluation of pure chess ability. Now for myself, I did win the Fisher Random World Chess Championship last year in Reykjavik, Iceland, defeating Jan Nepomnesi. And I feel like Fisher Random is one of the ways that you determine who the best pure chess player is, simply because there is no theory. From the very get-go, you have to develop your strategies. You do not know what the best moves are, and you just have to figure it out as you go, which is quite different than regular chess where theory has been building up for many, many years. And I think we're both Magnus and myself between the faster time control where intuition plays a big role, between the mixed format of regular chess and Fisher Random, we should see who the best pure chess player is all right you guys so let me put my cam back back up of course so yes yeah, so to be very clear you guys um this was the video that we were supposed to be releasing on um wednesday of this week announcing that the match was going to happen so this is what it was supposed to be now as, as i mentioned before which probably i should have held it off before announcing that um it is not happening the the, the match was was going to be so hype and it's obviously what the fans want to see it's what magnus has been wanting for a long time he's wanted quicker time controls sort of mixed blends um rather than playing the slow classical world championship so it's what magnus wanted obviously it's what i wanted and it has been rescheduled many times already you guys um it's been moved because sponsors have fallen through billionaires were interested they've lost they, they lost interest at various times there were broadcast partners who fell through i think people have some idea of what that means um, as obviously the event was supposed to be connected to the chess boxing event happening in Vegas at the same time. And finally today, um, the reason that this match has now officially been canceled is specifically because the venue, which was UFC Apex, has fallen through due to con contractual obligations um, that could not be upheld. I think it had to do with something like insurance and other things of that nature. Um, so at the end of the day, the event has fallen through. 
And here we are at the present moment. I mean, it's as sad as it is. This is where we currently stand. So the match has been canceled. So I guess if you guys do have any questions. Obviously, I will try to try to answer it. Insurance for Chess is Wild. I don't know you guys. Um, that's just, just what I've been told. But basically today, apparently the event is no longer secure. And as such, it is not going to be happening. So um, I don't know. Maybe the match will happen at a later date. Maybe it will happen somewhere else. Um, obviously, uh, also getting onto the topic because people are wondering about it. Back in May, when Norway Chess was happening, I was in Norway playing that tournament on one of the rest days. Uh, Magus did some filming. I did filming. We were both there. We did filming for the match, which was originally supposed to happen in August. That is exactly why Magus, I mean, declined the World Cup. I declined it as well. And then why, as soon as the match fell through on the second rest day during Norwich Chess, both of us actually ended up playing the World Cup instead. Um, so I was not debating or making things up when I referred to these things along the lines. So um, obviously, it's a it's a very, very big disappointment. This is something that had been planned or in, in planning or in the works for a very, very long time. Ultimately, it fell through. Um, so it's it's a, it's a big disappointment, obviously, because even as recently as this morning, I thought the match was still on. Um, and and so it's uh, it's it's a huge disappointment, certainly, that this is not happening now. Maybe some form event will happen um, in the future. We we don't really know what what the future holds, but it's definitely um, a big disappointment it's for me, at least. I mean, it would have been the, the match I've always wanted to play against Magnus, and so the fact that um, the, the fact that it's not happening is. Uh, it's uh yeah it's very very disappointing so i mean i don't know if you guys have any questions the update is obviously that it has been canceled officially because apparently the venue fell through today um and that's that's just how it goes so um yeah what what to say obviously i wish he was sarcastic right now yeah obviously i mean fortunately i didn't i didn't actually have my slack open earlier so i didn't hear about it until right before the u.s championship started because probably if i had heard about it if i'm being honest i probably would have ended the stream um so it's a it's a huge disappointment because i kept getting told all the way along the process it was still happening still happening even last tuesday or wednesday whenever it was and i was going to make the announcement i was told like hold it off till next week uh, i still was under the i was still was told it's still going to happen everything's good um but at the end of the day as it turns out everything is not good so it is not happening um and that's that's a big big disappointment i think for chess fans certainly for myself and magnus as well uh, i'm devastated and kind of angry well yeah it's what it is so that's how it goes you guys uh, it's a, it's a very 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 um very very unfortunate also certainly for me hearing this today right before i'm going to be leaving and traveling to to play in some chess tournaments it's a it's a big bummer but that's how it goes you guys so on that note i think we're going to we're going to move along um <clears throat> 